Australian Idol host Marsha Hines has been taken to hospital after collapsing in her dressing room prior to the show's grand final episode on Channel 7 on Sunday. It is understood Hines, who is a judge on the hit reality TV show, collapsed in a dressing room at the Sydney Coliseum Theatre in Rudy Hill on Sunday afternoon. A source told East Coast Media that Hines won't be on Idol tonight with Guy Sebastian instead filling in as judge. Marcia had a medical emergency and was rushed to hospital, the production source said. It is understood the 70 year old was transported by ambulance from the site and is now in a stable condition. Following her collapse, Hines shared a message on social media, updating her almost 40k followers that she had been feeling a little unwell. I'm very sorry that I'm not there with you all tonight, Hines shared to her Instagram on Sunday night. It's been a big few days of work and I was feeling a little unwell. I'm resting up now so I can be back with you all tomorrow night. At the beginning of Sunday night's episode, Australian Idol host Ricky Lee Coulter announced that Hines would not be present for the show. You will have spotted that we are missing someone very important and very special to the Idol family, Coulter said. Unfortunately, Marcia is unwell and unable to join us tonight. In response, fellow judge Kyle Sandilands clarified that his co judge didn't just ring up with a headache. Sorry, sorry. That's a real downplay, he said. She, Hines, was taken out of here in an ambulance. Just so that everyone knows. She's fine. She's well. But she didn't just ring up with a headache. She went down. Social media users were quick to show their support, wishing lovely Hines a speedy recovery. Wishing Marsha Hines a speedy recovery. Lovely lady and charming customer from the Bondi days, one wrote on X. I pray Marsha Hines is okay. One of the greatest Australian artists, another added. Hines has previously spoken about living with type 1 diabetes, a condition she was diagnosed with when she was in her 30s.